While there are many different ways to drive organic traffic to your sites, a lot of them are labor and resource intensive, while others can actually be quite risky, resulting in Google penalizing you for trying to rig the system. So let me show you a few quick, safe ways that you can drive organic traffic to your site. Organic traffic refers to visitors who reach your website through search engines, either by searching for your site or for information that your site contains. These visitors are finding your web pages organically, so not through any paid channels, referrals, email marketing or other marketing efforts. And the best thing about organic traffic is that you don't need to keep paying to maintain it like you would with paid traffic, which decreases your customer acquisition costs. If you think about it, you're basically creating your own equity or asset, aka your content, that keeps driving traffic after a single investment over time. If you want, think of organic traffic as purchasing a house, whereas paid traffic is just renting it. Before we go over the many different ways that you can drive traffic to your website, let's go over the different types of organic traffic. We've got two typical types, branded and non-branded traffic. Now, branded traffic refers to specific searches for your site, so that could be your company name. But unbranded traffic is all of the other traffic that gets sent to your site because your site has the information or service related to what users are searching for. And we can break unbranded traffic down into four further types. First up, we have navigational, which is when users want to navigate to a specific website, like Talkspace, for example. Second, we have informational, where users are looking for specific information or the answer to a specific query, like what are the symptoms of depression? Third, we have commercial, where users want to compare products or services when deciding to make a purchase. So they could search for something like the best online therapy providers. And finally, we have transactional, which of course means that users are ready to make a transaction. So that could look like booking an online therapy session. While there are many different ways to drive organic traffic to your site, a lot of them are labor and resource intensive, while others can actually be quite risky, resulting in Google penalizing you for trying to rig the system. So let me show you a few quick, safe ways that you can drive organic traffic to your site. First and most importantly, you want to make high quality, helpful content your first priority. Content is 90% of the work, and think about it like this, your product and feature pages, blog pages, social media, and even ads all have content. So if you want to successfully drive traffic to your site, you need to know how to make really good content. So here are a few principles to keep in mind when you do just that. First, make sure that your content is successfully targeting exactly what your users are searching for, and that it's helpful content to help them find answers to their questions. Secondly, Make sure that you fully grasp your audience's specific goals so that your content can help them complete their journey. Third, make sure that you're creating content that provides value to your audience. Otherwise, users will leave your page and Google will see your content as low quality and eventually stop sending traffic to your site. Fourth, whenever you make content, make sure that you're including first-hand experience, expertise and unique perspectives so that you're providing that real value and supporting the user journey. You can do this even if you use AI to create your content. Next, make sure that you're creating evergreen content. This type of content stays relevant for longer and will keep driving traffic over time. Then, make sure that you're creating content regularly. Search engine algorithms need to know that they can rely on you to consistently give them fresh material to promote. Next, you want to make sure that you're giving users the most up-to-date content, otherwise your organic traffic will decrease. Make sure that you're providing them with the best information and the best, most relevant data. And finally, last but not least, never overlook bottom of the funnel content. Yes, the search volume may be low and the competition may be high, but it's the most valuable content when it comes to your conversions. Another approach to driving organic traffic is through programmatic SEO, which refers to automated pages that you can create to generate visits to your site. Now, this is one of the most scalable ways to drive organic traffic, but you could end up getting penalized for creating duplicate content that doesn't provide any unique value. So you need to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing and that you're not just spamming the internet. 
Let's take a moment to look at Zapier. They do this really, really well because they discovered a way to create multiple unique pages about integrating different softwares like Monday and Slack. And because these pages are so unique and provide real value, they generate a lot of traffic from them. Now, the next technique for driving organic traffic is with technical SEO. But don't believe all the people who say that technical SEO will drive all of your traffic for you on its own. Content is still 90% of the work. However, technical SEO will guarantee that search engine algorithms can read and understand your content easily, which can be very helpful. So in other words, you won't have traffic without it, but it won't necessarily generate all of your traffic on its own. Here are a few elements that you can optimize on your site with technical SEO. Page security, page speed, meta tags and descriptions, schema markup, sitemap, and user experience across devices. Next up, we have offsite SEO, which is another way of referring to backlinks or inbound links, which has been a part of SEO for a long time because of how much stock Google puts in the way that content is linked. The basic idea is that other sites link to your content from their pages, which is usually a good indicator to Google that your content is helpful and valuable to others. And as a result, Google then ranks your content higher. But unfortunately, this technique has been manipulated for quite a few years and can sometimes be dangerous. So always make sure that your backlinks are proper and legit and that they come from a relevant website. Now let's talk about local SEO. If you have a local business or a local segment for your business, then you can aim to get it on Google Maps and appear in local searches. Google even has a proximity factor associated with certain searches that you can take full advantage of. Creating a Google My Business listing, building local landing pages for each location, getting your business reviewed by locals, or even getting links from local publications and aggregators can really help you get served locally. The next technique is getting your content featured in Google's Knowledge Graph and Featured Snippet. Now, Google's Knowledge Graph provides direct, concise answers to search queries, rather than a long list of web pages. But getting your content into the knowledge graph can prove to be tricky because you need to provide content that has a lot of authority on the individual, place, or thing featured in the graph. The same goes for the featured snippet because Google's automated systems determine if a page has enough authority and accurate information to be featured. Now let's talk about guest posting. It's an old but efficient technique that involves creating content for other websites. The more authority these sites have, the more traffic you'll get back to your site. So this gives you three main benefits. Increased brand awareness and branded traffic. You get clicks from the links back to your website and you increase your backlinks from your own site. Another way to drive organic traffic to your site is by translating your content. Translated content can help drive a lot of traffic because there's less competition. So it needs to be a really good translation, but if traffic from other countries is relevant to your business, then this can be very helpful. A country code top level domain can also help drive organic traffic to your site. For example, if you want to drive more traffic from users in the UK, you can buy a co.uk domain. Now, even though your content is in English, this might help target specifically more users from the UK rather than a .com domain that targets the entire world. Social media is also extremely important for driving branded traffic. A lot of people can discover your brand or business through social media, which is why publishing content on platforms like LinkedIn, TikTok and YouTube is so important. Just don't forget to include plenty of links to your site. And last but not least, even though organic traffic is so important, don't stop investing in paid traffic. Paid traffic can actually also help increase your organic traffic because of all the brand awareness. For example, fashion brands like Lululemon over here leverage paid advertising and social media significantly to send a whole lot of organic traffic to their websites. And there you have it. Following these tips will help you drive organic traffic to your site effectively, quickly, and safely. So as always, if you're looking for more resources, head to our description or leave any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.